Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be doing the Android Team Building Guide. Now I did want to state before we even start this video that this is going to be a longer video. As you guys probably have seen, it might be, I think this is going to turn into about a 15 to 20 minute video. So uh, before we jump in, I just want to say, if you like the content of the video, please make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and if you guys have any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments below, I will do my best to answer them for you. Now, uh, mind you, this is currently Friday night, it is like 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm about to go to bed, so um, I may be a little bit delirious, <laughs> um, so if, I apologize for any mistakes that will happen during this video, I will do my best to correct them as I go along, uh, it's been a very long day. So anyway, let's jump into this. Uh, we're going to talk about the TURs also, by the way. This is going to cover the Android 21 and the Android 17. We're not talking about their SSR forms just to save some time. So Berserk Predatory Impulse Android 21 Transformed. Note that it has transformed in her title. Uh, leader abilities, Android Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 150%, which is 150% leader all around. Now, um, some people are debating, maybe I should talk about a video on this, about um, the Android 17 versus Android 21. Personally, I think they're both really good units. Uh, honestly, if it was me, I would probably run an Android 17 lead and an Android 21 lead, just to have one of each, just to get the attack and defense a little bit higher, but keep the defense high as well. My opinion, but that's what I would do. Super attack for her is Photon Wave, immense damage to the enemy, and she recovers 10% HP. Now, that means the more damage she does, the more HP you get to recover. So, overall, I think you should give her crits. Honestly, she has the already built-in crit on the free dupe system. So, uh, honestly, giving her a crit would definitely be beneficial to that. Passive skill, impulse exceeding the limit. Key plus 3, attack and defense plus 90%. That's just automatic what she always has. Attacked enemies, attack and defense minus 20% for 2 turns. And transforms when conditions are met. Now... Her passive skill would indicate that you would want to give her additionals. So how should you build this woman? I don't know. Um, honestly, it's really going to be up to you. Her super attack is going to indicate you're going to want to give her more crits. Her passive skill here is going to indicate you want to give her at least some double attacks because she's debuffing the enemy. All she has to do is attack. It doesn't matter if it's a super attack or not. If she's getting an additional attack off, she's going to debuff the enemy. <clears throat> and for two turns, that's not really that bad. Especially, you got to think about on Dokkan events, as long as the enemy can be debuffed, She's going to do very, very well for you. So uh, you might want to do a 50-50 uh, in terms of crit and additional build. Uh, we're going to talk about the transformation as well. Link skills are Android Assault, Metamorphosis, Battlefield Diva, Brainiacs, Fear and Faith, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Android and Full Power. Now, I do have to say this. Thankfully, finally, we got another Extreme STR type. Uh, and actually, you know, but, you know, spoilers, she links very well with Janemba which is awesome. So that's definitely going to make the extreme STR type a lot more viable if you're on the mono team. Her max stats, base dupe system, are HP of uh, 81 to 62, attack of 90 96, and defense of 38 21. Um, if you go and get her uh, base dupe system unlocked, it's HP of 10,162, attack of 11,096, and defense of 58 21. Go ahead and pause it if you want to look at the max unlocked potential. Um, her 12 key multiplier is 145%. Transformation, 30% chance to eat cell, <laughs> Easy, she's going to eat cell, and transform when HP is 50% or above. So that means from the start of the turn, until your HP drops below 50%, she has a chance to transform. Actually, sorry, not from the beginning of the turn, from the fourth turn uh, from the start of the battle. Which is almost always going to happen, because if you look at this team, they have ridiculous defense, they have HP regeneration, and honestly, you're, you're probably going to have a sense of being with you. So by the time fourth turn comes around, just make sure, you, you know, if you want her to transform, that you go and get her to um, uh, over 50% health. And honestly, her transformation is not like the other crappy ones. Like, it's almost like Ultra Instinct Goku, where it's, it's viable, you can get it to happen, and it's actually really good. When she transforms, she lowers attack and defense versus when she would recover HP. So at that point, um, it's not really that great. I, obviously, I would prefer to have greatly lowers, as I've said in multiple videos, greatly lowers... <laughs> Is a lot better. I would prefer just to have greatly lowers attack and just negate the defense, but whatever. Um, that would indicate uh, do additional attacks. Passive skill, body stained with evil. Keep plus three, attack and defense plus 130% now. Recovers 13% HP at the start of the turn. So it's just at the start of the turn. Does not mean when receipt when giving the attack, so it doesn't even matter at that point. Um, disables enemy's guard when performing a super attack. So she will disable the enemy's guard when performing a super attack, which means that they have no damage negation if she's attacking an agility unit. It's still, you're going to do, do normal damage to her, um, like, you're not going to have type advantage, but they're not going to be able to guard. So the guard will be negated. I, I forgot what the actual percentage is on that, but you'll at least be able to do a little bit more damage. 
Playing skills, she gains fierce battle. I think everything is... Oh, no, she, she keeps fierce battle. Okay. Playing skills are the same. Everything's actually pretty much the same. Yeah. Everything is the same on her. 58, 21. Yep, yep. Um, and let's see. 30% chance when HP starting for the fourth turn start of the battle. 12 key multipliers, 145%. Her super attack lowers the enemy's attack and defense by 20% for three turns. So that's actually different. So that's uh, attack and defense minus 30% or 20% for three turns is actually pretty good. Uh, so again, you might want to consider giving her additionals as she gets a double super attack. She's going to do a lot of damage or she's going to help to buff the enemy. And she's also going to do a lot of damage. Overall, pretty damn good unit. Really good unit, actually. Um, in terms of her best linking buddies in game right now, um, it's going to be these three, these three over here. Uh, it's going to be the STR Janemba and the Intelligence Janemba for the same link skills, if this will allow me to come. Uh, transformation, 5% HP recovery, big bad bosses, super fierce battle, and fear and despair. So she's getting two key, um, super fierce battle for a constant link of 15%. Big bad bosses when your HP drops below 80%, attack and defense plus 25%, which is awesome. And the HP recovery of 5%, you can't go wrong. I mean, that's literally an awesome awesome combination of links um and her free to play form which we're going to, have to touch upon a little bit later um which is the intelligence one which she gets brainiacs which is 10 percent transformation which is or metamorphosis which is a five percent hp recovery defense plus a thousand percent up isn't really that great but it's there big bad bosses and female fighters so she's getting two key and a whole bunch of attack buffs so overall those are her best linking buddies in game and honestly it works out because um for a mono extreme strength team you know she's going to link really well with the janemba and for an android team she's going to link really good with her free to play counterpart uh, in terms of a mono extreme strength team, three or more link skills over here. Uh, as you see, we already talked about the Janemba. She does link three with Rose, so if you if you don't have Janemba, Rose will be do pretty well with her. Um, let's see over here. What is it? Fear and face with two key, fe uh, fifteen percent attack buff and big bad bosses. Uh, you also have the Android Seventeen, obviously, who is going to link with her, and he is a key orb manipulator as well. But uh, fifteen percent two key defense buff. LR Frieza links with her, which is interesting. Transformation, she uses the, uh, the HP regeneration with him. Big Bad Bosses, Fear and Faith. And Omega Shenron, he, she links for three link skills as well. Uh, Big Bad Bosses, Super Fierce Battle, and Fear and Despair, so not that bad. So at least two key all around. Um, she She's a pretty damn decent unit, and they, they actually built her links a little bit good for the Mono Extreme Strength Team, so at least she is linking very well with people. Uh, in terms of the uh well this is our full power team because this is the full power three or more links because we already talked about omega shenron we also have the um the physical omega shenron she links with it's the same thing as the uh strength one she has the cell and now unfortunately we had to drop down to two because there really wasn't that many uh for the full power team the easy a cell big bad bosses super fierce battle you have the extremes the awakened uh the full power frieza as well which is also big bad bosses and super fierce battle and then you have the intelligence cell which is big bad bosses and super fierce battle so no key there, honestly, on a, on a full power team, you're going to want to run her with one of the Omegas if you don't have anyone else to run with it. But there you go, that's her. I don't really think you're going to run her on a team just because she doesn't have that many good link skills. Um, in terms of the Android team, as you guys probably already know, she links the best with almost all the Androids. Um, Android, her, her other part that we already talked about for five link skills, uh, Super 17, three link skills. Really, you're just going to look at 15% and two key. Uh, the Android 17s over here, uh, defense, attack, key. I'm pretty sure it's the same across the board. Defense attack key, right? Defense attack key, yep. And defense attack key. And I think it's the same thing with the two Android 18s as well. Let's see. Uh, defense key attack, yep. And defense attack key, or, oh, well, yeah, because it's a female fighter. Uh, and then you have the two Android 13s, which are there. I don't think anyone's going to run with them. But two key HP regeneration and defense buffs, so there's no attack buffs there the, for the, uh, for the uh, technique one. And the same thing for the intelligence ones. So honestly, for her best linking buddies in the game, she's honestly going to link best with her intelligence self. Again, we're going to touch upon that in a minute. Uh, let's switch over to the Android 17 now. All for survival, Android 17. This is his TUR form, leader abilities, Android category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 107, or sorry, HP and attack plus 170, defense plus 130%, or super physical type, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Uh, so that is actually pretty awesome, really damn awesome. Uh, keep that in mind, he does have the ability to bring someone on the team that is from the Super Physical. I mean, if you have the LR Trunks, you can throw them on there. I don't really think it would be worth it, but you can do that. Uh, super Attack is Grand Explode, Immense Damage to the Enemy, Lowers Attack and Defense, which is interesting. Passive Skill, Fierce Fight for Survival, Attack plus 120% when performing a Super Attack. All allies key plus three and defense plus 60%. So not only does he do some damn decent damage, he buffs all of his allies with key plus three and a defensive buff. That defensive buff of 
on a 170 team i mean granted defense is only 30 percent but it's still going to do a lot for you and considering that a lot of these guys have defensive buffs built in on the android team uh that's definitely going to come into play and be very very helpful and beneficial he also has a damage reduction of 40 percent when his hp drops below 77 percent so uh, honestly if, I'm, if you're on this team and you're running the two android 17 and android 21 you're gonna want to work to try and keep your hp below 50 or be between 50 and 77 percent obviously it's a pain in the butt to do that but you can do it link skills are android assault twin terrors infinite energy rival duo shocking speed <coughs> tournament of power and fierce battle he's part of the android saga obviously and universe survival saga Max stats are uh, HP of 10,110, attack of 10,832, and defense of 6280. Max base dupe system without any unlocked levels is HP of 12,110, attack of 12,832, and defense of 8280. 12 key multiplier of 150%. Oh, also, this guy can be farmed into increases super attack on his SSR form. Just keep that in mind. Um, Android 17 over here from the um, Dragon Ball Super Universe Survival Saga Tournament of Power, the epic finale. Go there and you get an uh, grind out level 6 to get your Android 17s. Guys on Global, well, when that event becomes available, go ahead, grind out 9 extra ones just so that way you have it available for him uh, if you want to do that. Uh, in terms of dupe system, uh, honestly, just crits. I would say crits. Uh, lowers, lowering attack and defense is uh, pretty damn good, but uh, I don't. Yeah, there's no actual information about that. But honestly, I would just go with crits on this guy. He already has the built-in additional, so you're, you're going to get a good uh, split between them anyway. Uh, in terms of best linking buddies in game, for linking buddies, you have Topo. You have in the three Android 18s. Topo is going to be. Oh, I didn't hit translate to English. Um, <laughs> uh, Topo is. Accurate assist. I think that's a rival duo. Uh, I'm not sure. Attack plus 10% up. Defense of attacking enemy is down by 15%. Shocking speed. Uh, universe survival slug or power competition and fierce battle. So they are always going to be getting super attacks off when linked together. Topo is also a very, very good support unit. Uh, keep that in mind. You want those two to link together. Uh, and the three Android 18s. There's really not much to say here. Uh, there's that three, four, five, six, seven key there. Uh, two key or four key and 15% uh, attack buff and the defensive buff obviously I think I'm going to stop talking about the defensive buff I'm pretty sure they all have it um, and six key with this android 18 the, the strength 18 the strength 18 still sucks so I would probably go with the uh, other the intelligence 18 must my opinion on the matter you don't need to um, let's see she is change rainbow to intelligent I actually don't go with her she sucks and this one is at the start, her 50% up and HP 50% for more. Okay, so she might do a little bit more damage, but whatever. I would still don't recommend running any of them on the team. Maybe the intelligence, uh, the technique one, she actually does some decent damage there. Attack and defense plus 70% up, and she changed key, just key or manipulation. So there you go. <laughs> uh, in terms of for Universe Survival Saga, you have Topo, which we already talked about. You have Dispo over here for three link skills, which is, was that? It's five key and 15% attack buff. We already talked about Android 18. And you have Jiren for three link skills over here. So that's what, three, four, five, five key and 15% attack buff. I did not do a mono uh, physical, so let me go ahead and do that really quick. We need to go ahead and, yeah, we're gonna clear that out. We're gonna bring Android 17 over here and we're gonna switch this over here. It is super physical type. So we're gonna go over here for, let's see what we got. Oh wow, two or more, oh no, that's why we need to do none and see what he has. Wow, he only has two, that's it, that's horrible. So for a mono super team, his link skills are only with Arale, which Arale is not not that bad. She has that uh, full power freeze passive attack was 120% up. Um, and then you have the LR, the, uh, the ultimate Gohan, which is not that great. Anymore. Uh, so you do have that. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. But uh, uh, that's all he actually links with. But uh, let's keep in mind when you're talking about the actual uh, super physical team. Um, let's see over here. We're going to bring, we're going to look at everyone that we have. I mean... You have the physical Vegito, the, the Vegito Blue, the LR Gogeta, uh, the LR Bardock, you have the Kaioken Goku, um, you have the Seal Tanks. Um, I know I did watch D Freeze video the other day that got dropped. Um, another really good one would be the uh, Super Saiyan Gohan support unit because he does attack and defense for all allies plus 35%. Um, I mean, any of these guys would be amazing. I mean, they're not going to link that well on the team because obviously, as you see here, these are the best links for, him, for at least him specifically. But uh, that's who you could actually run additionally on the team. Well, let's not get hung up on that. In terms of Android's best linking buddies for him are the three Android 18s, which we already touched upon. And um, that's pretty much it for, the, for, the, for, his, for him and his linking guide. Now, we're going to talk about the actual Android building team. Uh, and now, this is a, 
oh my gosh, this is just a pain in the butt of how you would want to construct this team because it really comes down to preference, honestly, at this point. Uh, we're going to switch over to the Dokkan Battle Builder view real quick, just so that way we can have a close-up of this. Um, so that way you guys can see what's going on. I want to make sure that everything looks good. Um, so, honestly, if you have Android 21 transformation, get the free-to-play one. You want to get her, um, she is, uh, actually, oops, we did not want to close that tab. Reopen close tab. Um, she is a support unit. She is pretty much a Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku Golden Grade Ape. Uh, to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku as, you know, that's what she's like. So she's pretty much the Super Saiyan 3 Golden Great Ape Goku to the Super Saiyan 4 Goku for her Android 21 counterpart. Because she is conflicted mind, Android 21 transformed good. Um, Android category allies keep us to attack and defense plus 30%. So she's giving her counterpart uh, attack and defense plus 30% and key plus 2, which is insane. On top of the five link skills, they have Brainiacs for attack and defense up. Transformation for HP recovery, uh, the defense buff obviously, big bad bosses, and female fighters. So they have what? They have two key, a ridiculous amount of attack buff. Not a ridiculous amount, but they do have a nice attack buff. Her passive skill, so that's what? Two, and then four, four up there? So that's four, five. She only needs two more key uh, in order to launch a super attack, which is almost always going to happen. Um, and the attack buffs there. The only thing that the strength one is missing is going to be fierce battle and honestly if you set up your rotations properly so that way all your support units the units you have your off rotation at fierce battle she's pretty much gonna be doing a lot of damage now um that's just my recommendation if you don't if you don't have the strength one then you're not gonna run her on the team you're probably you could still run the android 21 good one uh, on the team just because she is a good support unit uh but honestly there's no reason for you not to get the good support unit over here or yeah the good support unit that's free to play free to grind which that video should come out on sunday um if you have the strength one grind her out get all four dupes unlocked i don't really think you need to actually uh, do anything with her if you do give her either crits like if you're just doing the uh the, the actual attributes in this in the dupe system either give her crits or additionals personally i'd probably go with crits just so that way she can do a little bit more damage uh doing additionals won't always be beneficial to her because if it doesn't launch an additional uh, super attack uh, you're probably gonna do more damage with the crits and you'll get hp recovery better with the crits but anyway there's that so if you don't have those two then you're you're with the android 17 and now here is our problem who do you want to link with android 17 now remember android 17 does have that passive of key plus three and defense plus 60 percent so he is going to be benefiting whoever is next to him now, you have the LR Androids. Now, the LR Androids are good. They were good back in the day. But remember, their attack is only 15,000 up. If you have 100% of the dupe system uh, from the actual event, they may be more viable for you to run. But, I mean, they're probably going to be clearing a decent amount of damage. Um, but you're going to have a lot of other units that you can actually choose from. Uh, but they do link very well. If you notice over here, they have three link seals. They don't have any attack buffs. But two, four, six. On top of the double, uh, the double three key lead, so they are going to automatically, when linked with 17, they're going to start off with 12 key. His passive skill gives him an additional three key, which means Super 17 is always going to be, or not Super 17, Android 17 is always going to be supering when he's next to them. And Android, uh, the LR Android 18 and 17 are always, or they're always going to launch super attack, and they're only three key away from launching an ultra super attack at all times when next to him. Keep that in mind. And then, when you take that into consideration as well, look who you might have on rotation. If you have Super 17, that's another four key right there. Automatic Ultra Super Attack. If you have this Android 18, not only do you get the key manipulation, two, four more key over there. If you have this Android um, 21 over here, uh, that she links with only one link skill with them, but she has two key there and then two key on her passive. So these guys are always going to get in their Ultra off. If you don't have the LR androids maxed out in the dupe system, the Android 17, Super 17, is perfect to link with Android 17. Two key defense buff and 15%, plus he do, he will do some decent damage. He is also a tank, just like the 17 is. Um, honestly, I think Super 17 and this Android 16 are very good um, people to interchange out with each other, depending on what you're doing. You could honestly probably run Super 17 on one rotation with, um, with Android 17 and Android 17 with Android 16. Uh, that would be pretty good. Uh, let's take a look really quick. I just wanted to mention this. Uh, I will be talking about him in a separate video as well. I'm going to do the same one as the free-to-play Android 21 just to keep him, like, you know, kind of irrelevant. 
Um, let's go actually over here and switch over to the Chrome record again so you can see more. His passive skill is attacking defense plus 80%, additional defense plus 30% per Android category ally, which means up to 90%. So he gets attacking defense plus 80%, plus an additional 90%, and a high chance to guard all attacks. And he greatly raises the defense for one turn after launching a super attack. So if he's on the second turn or off primary rotation, he will always have that off as long as he gets a super attack. So he'll be pretty much um, making sure he never gets hit for a lot of damage. He's going to be a very good person to link over here with uh, Android 17. Plus, remember, he gives an additional defensive buff. So Android, Android 16 is pretty much going to be there as a tank, taking almost no damage whatsoever. Um, the one thing I will say that it's very difficult because we do have the Extremes the Awakening is this Cell. He is such a good unit. He's going to be doing so much damn damage on this team. But oh my gosh, he has no linking buddies. Like, at all. He has no, like, look at this. I mean, yes, okay. If you pair him with Android 21, he gets big bad bosses and super fierce battle. You couple that with a whole bunch of key orb manipulation. Um, or if you have a whole bunch of key orbs, he's going to do ridiculous amounts of damage. But it just sucks he has no one to link with. The only other person he can link with is Android 16 for 2 key and 15%. That might be his only other best bet. Now, keep that in mind. Uh, since Easy A Cell <clears throat> will increase his uh, attack and defense with the key orb, and he has higher stats with immense damage and everything, uh, he will be tanking very well as well. But you need to get lucky with the keys, the, the key orbs, the way they drop. You can run the other Android 17s and 6, uh, not 16. Uh, Android 17s and 18s, they do key orb manipulation, um, but you're gonna have to make sure that it lines up well. Like, this tech 18 is awesome for Cell. Unfortunately, they don't have any link skills together. So, um, again, as stated here, there is a lot of different combinations you can do, and honestly, at this point, it really just comes down to your favorites. Which ones do you really want to run? If you get Android 21, I do recommend running her as a leader. It doesn't matter if you bring a 17 friend or an 8, a 21 friend, but make sure you grind out the free-to-play 21 because they are perfect Link buddies, and she has that Super Saiyan 3 passive for her Android 21, as Super Saiyan 3 Golden and Great Ape Goku does for his Super Saiyan 4 variant. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much I covered everything there. I hope that was very um, informative for you guys. Uh, I personally, again, JP side, I don't really summon. Uh, I would like to get this on the global side when it comes available, because honestly, I have all the Android cards that are available here. It's very niche um, category right here. And that's why they have the 170 leaders, at least from what I'm reading on the Reddit. Uh, typically, they only did the 170s for smaller teams. Uh, but yeah, I would really love to have one of the two of them. So hopefully maybe one day I can actually get the, one of the two and I could run a pretty damn nice team. But um, anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I will be doing the free to play Android 21 event. I'll be talking about that and I'll do I'll be I will be doing a linking guide for the Android 16 in that same video. Maybe I'll do a separate video for him uh, just so that way it's separate. That way you don't have to sit through one. And if you only want to watch the other. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I will catch you down in the comments below. Peace out. And also remember to hit that subscribe button if you are new. Thank you. Have a great day.